is my favourite. And we'll, we'll get to it in a minute. So um, I'm the coordinator of the Maths Learning Centre at my university. Any student in the University of Adelaide can visit us without an appointment to talk about anything mathematical related to any of their coursework. In any discipline, you know, nursing, medicine, engineering, biology, chemistry, maths, whatever. Um, and we have a team of tutors, uh, and that's me and the other lecturer, that's a professor to you guys, um, and a couple of semi-retired academics, um, most notably um, Adrian, who's been there for a full 25 years, uh, and many maths, physics, engineering postgrad students who are teaching there during um, their postgrad years. So what Squiggles does is it helps us to guide our practice working one-on-one -on -one with students on the fly. So um, in a typical assignment day in the um, Maths Learning Centre, we'll see about 150 different students. Um, and so each of us individually, that's about 40 students. Uh, and um, that's a lot to deal with in one day, and you tend to get a bit worn down. Um, and so we need something to help guide our practice when we're having to make decisions on the fly. And also it gives us a focus for observing each other and, and giving feedback. So this is what it is. So squiggles, and we'll just zoom in on that, and it's being very slow. So the S, the first S stands for speak. Speak your thinking as you read or write. So um, if you're going, if a student gives you their work and says, uh, what do you think of this, or is this right, um, you need to speak when you're reading it, so they can tell what you're looking for. And when you're writing, you need to speak so they can tell what you're thinking. The Q stands for ask open-ended questions. Any questions is better than none. Um, but in particular, open-ended questions are better. Um, our favourite all-purpose open-ended question is, can you tell me more about that? <laughs> w is encourage the student to write, um, in particular, as opposed to writing yourself. It's their work, um, so they should be the one doing it. I is help the student find information, such as what the instructions for this assignment are. Um, and how to Google. <laughs> um, G is for guide, uh, guide the students planning and structuring and problem solving, because uh, our main goals are not just helping people solve problems, but also um, communication. So, um, and the purpose of the word guide is as opposed to doing stuff for them. You're there to be with them, uh, but not uh, do things for them. The L is for listen, it's the most important, but this is where it fits in the word. Um, and to listen to the student's thoughts and their feelings. A very common question we will ask the students is, how do you feel about that? Um, they can respond to that uh, without talking about feelings at all, but it gives them the choice. Um, and this goes together with the open-ended questions, because without an open-ended question, you usually have nothing worth listening to. <coughs> E is for explain, and explain concepts a different way, and then a different way, and then a different way, and then a different way, <laughs> until you find something that works for both of you. <clears throat> and the last S is help the students to sum up what they have learned, uh, because otherwise what they'll think happened today is that they finished their assignment and they won't realise they learned anything that they can use for the future without summing it up. So that's Squiggles, and um, we have this acronym um, on our staff iPads um, on the on the lock screen, um, so that um, every time they get it out um, to help the students look stuff up, to find information, um, or to get them to record data um, that they were there, the staff get to see it and are reminded with what they're supposed to do. So some case studies. This is uh, with, uh, I've had many a staff member of mostly postgrad students over the time, which I've had to train. And uh, here is how we help them use Squiggles to help them improve. So we had a staff member who was silent, who would sit there for like a few minutes when he was thinking about the student's problems, saying nothing. Uh, and it was very awkward. And so uh, we asked him to focus on the S, the first S and the last S and the G. S, obviously, speak, please. Um, and the G meant guide, uh, because he would actually be silent because he was trying to figure out the problem himself rather than guiding the student. Thank you. The last guess is summer. Um, we had some that were, whoa, okay, skip to that one. Uh, we have some of them that are too smart. 
um, that the, the, start, the tutor sits there and knows what the problem, solution to the problem is off the top of their head and they go straight to it. Um, and so we get them to focus on asking questions, open-ended questions, and listening and explaining things a different way um, so that they can focus on helping the student rather than doing their very clever solution. Ah, uh, yeah, I'll just skip that. So, there you go, that's Squiggles. It's my favourite. Uh, and thank you very much.